Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another Incremental Googology video, episode 10. And you can see it's been like 30 minutes and I can get one fast growing hierarchy number, which means I beat the challenge and get absolutely zero reward for it. Multiply your fast growing hierarchy number gained by the fast growing hierarchy number you get in this challenge. I got one fast growing hierarchy number. So that challenge did absolutely nothing for me. Maybe instead I will do something else. I'm going to say disable this and do fast growing hierarchy challenges three and four together. This is going to this is going to be a bit rough um, because we got two separate nerfs both acting on each other. And it's like this is going to go down and then it might start going back up or not. It's just too weak. It is too weak. Yeah, this is why this challenge is extremely rough. Yeah, no, nothing's gonna fix this. Um, exit the challenge. What if I just wait even longer? Do this stuff, and also while I'm at it, get a couple of these upgrades so I can get more of the boost that comes with that. And then I wait all the way until this reaches one. Okay, so this is now one. Now, how bad is this gonna be? Can't be that bad, right? I mean, this is going up, that's a good thing, despite this is increasing exponentially, which is always, always not a great thing to see. Now it's going down. Now I should probably wait until this and, oh, yikes, yikes. This challenge is impossible. Maybe, or at least, oh, I'm not sure what to do. Maybe I can try challenge seven instead. The more ZM you have, the weaker ZM, ZN is. Um, so I, basically I gotta watch, a, like, the more that I have. I don't see any nerfs right now, but I need E600 to complete the challenge, so... Oh, oh man, oh man. Okay, I can, I can unlock this. So, what even is this? It's, oh, so it's, on, it's only, like, affects different bases. So... The more the the more of like the base two I have, the weaker that the base three is gonna be. So you can see, well, I don't have very much, but once I do this, oh yeah, I see. Okay, yeah, that that's that's tricky. That is that is very tricky, right there. Basically, it seems like I want to just. I'm not even sure what I want to go for. It's like, I get by max, I can get, like, somewhere, but it's not gonna really do much. I don't... I can try to go for as many unlocks as I can. And this is probably the last one I'm gonna be able to do. Now what? Because if I buy max, I'm gonna use a save state. If I buy max, I can't get anywhere. If I only go for base 3, um, this is what happens. Um... I'll, I'll be buying max of all this. I'll get up to E112. And then, well, everything is so nerfed here that I can't really do anything with this. And I can buy max, but I'm even worse off than I was before. So this looks like another impossible challenge. So it looks like the only way going forward from here is... I mean, there could even be challenge 8, which is the more... Z0, and you have the weaker, the, <laughs> the weaker ZN is, so it's basically, when I get more of these, this is going to be weaker, and yeah, it's, it does not look possible at this point, because, yeah, E55, I need to get E3003, so yeah, that is an impossible challenge. What do I do? There is nothing else to go for at this point other than base four, which hopefully is easier now, especially with all of my automatons, because I can now enable this, enable this, and, and enable this. And if I do this up to top, then we can see, well, I seem to stall out at around the same place. I could do this to get... Um, about seven fast growing hierarchy number. It looks like this actually is the 
is almost the fastest way. But even that, that's not really that fast. And for whatever reason, this starts stalling out. For no reason. So, and, we've been, and I'm at even less than before, even though I'm not in a challenge. So I don't even understand what's going on here. So maybe it's, I mean, we should disable my automatons for some reason. It doesn't seem to doesn't seem to do anything for me. And somehow, if I just do it manually, somehow I'm going to get even farther. Um, I think. Or not. I'm actually stalling at less than before. Which is actually insane. I don't know what is going on with this game. Maybe I... I don't even know. I guess I'll just wait here and hopefully I'll get it to base 4, but that's no guarantees. I've gotten surprisingly little boost compared to before with how far I can get. And these challenges just keep eluding me. So, yeah, see you in a long while. Okay, I'm back after like a couple of days and I've really found out the fastest way to get fast growing hierarchy number is just to go for quick runs like this. I could try to I tried to use the automatons and it seems like I don't really want to unlock these very much. Maybe I could optimize it further, but first I'm going to collect all of these and I can collect one more of these as well. So that means it should be a little bit faster. You can see how many times a fast growing hierarchy proceeds 20,000 times. Which gets it all this all the way up to 143 times, which actually isn't even that much. Now, one thing I did notice was um, one of the achievements that I cannot get is I forgot to discard it, which is telling me I can discard this and then go for the go for the if I disable all my automatons, can I if I disable all um, and go into challenges, even though this challenge just has a really crappy reward maybe it's possible without discarding i have no idea it still doesn't look any easier than it was before which is a shame i'm trying to figure out what this challenge is doing i'm pretty sure what it's doing is it is buying max of the smallest thing available and then like once it cannot buy it it buys like something of higher tier and then it resets and that's what i feel like it's doing i i still don't have any more than four number but i'm gaining e70 it's up to e75 per second so maybe i'll be able to do something i'm i really don't know maybe i'll get enough for this challenge once it gets up to e100 Okay, I'm not up to E100 yet, but this happened. Unlock 00002, which I don't think actually is going to help at all. And now it's resetting it even less than E100. Yay. So I don't think this is actually a very good thing. I'm going to wait longer. Okay. Um, it's, it's going over E100 per second, but it's not doing anything. I can't complete the challenge. There's no button that says here... Here's how to complete the challenge. No, unfortunately. I could unlock this, but then I'm back to square one. There really, really isn't anything I can do here. And, well, the reward is actually very crappy, so I think that's okay. I'll exit the current challenge. I'll re-enable... What, what even is it? Where, where even is it? It's, it's here. I'll re-enable this. And then maybe... I can try the combination of challenge three and four. And this is buying any zero only Bashiku matrix. So it's like the, the, the regular challenge two. And then the Bashiku matrices are produced normally after purchase, but they decay exponentially based on the interval between of your previous two purchases. So I gotta be kind of careful about this. And it's, it is very tricky to get the right thing down because yeah i i still can't get more than just a little bit of number in this challenge i don't know what it is okay i've waited quite a bit and i'm gonna try again let's see if this actually works let's see 1000 2000 maybe 
This will get me up to at least, hopefully, E19, which allows me to get this. I can also try buying max of this. That gets me all the way to E67. That's interesting. And, and I can try that, but then, of course, that's going to take me all the way down to E-100,000 per second. That is just the most incredibly tiny number I've ever seen. Um, wait, it doesn't reset on... Oh. Oh, my God. Okay, this is worse than I thought. <laughs> I did not know it didn't reset on the reset. Oh, my God. Can I, I'm, I'm going to exit the challenge. Can I even do this normally? Like, just with this. No, I can't. I literally need to buy at least three things. Oh my god, this challenge. I really want to try challenge 7 and 8 again, but I've literally already tried that. I mean, maybe it's possible now, but I don't think it's that much better. Like... Challenge 7 was the one that kind of locked me to getting about E129 or whatever. I can get a little bit more now. I can I can do some unlocks, which get me which gets me all the way to E200 here. I can probably do a few more unlocks, but this is making it even worse somehow. I don't under I don't understand this. Like like what what else can I do? Like, do it like this? Um, I can't, I have to just click like this. Which is just so weird. And then, okay, okay. Well, I guess that's something. Okay, I have a, I have a strategy. This is going to get me up to E231. So, okay, for this challenge, I have to just, well, the more ZM you have, the weaker the Z. The, the, um, wait, is, is this the, oh wait, no, this is, this is where, like, the base 2 nerfs the base 3 and vice versa, I think. Well, somehow it was working before, so, maybe start like this. Um, nothing is nerfed yet, because it's just 0-0. Zero, zero. Then, I guess... Maybe I can buy, like, one of some of the things instead of buying max. That gets me all the way to E2. Wait, no, that's not how I do it. Oh, and now I have to exit the entire challenge. Crap. Even with this, it's not It's not going to cut it. Actually, this is only... These are extremely nerfed, but these are not terribly nerfed yet. So maybe it's still possible. Yeah, E270... E280, yeah, it's possible to at least reach E305, which, I mean, isn't the greatest thing ever, but, okay, I'll be a little bit more careful about this. I'm going to use another save state. So here, start with this. And I think I can just buy as many of these as I want. That's not the problem. Then, just buy stuff in base 3. No, that that's not what I do. Well, okay. I am I am so incredibly confused by this. Like, what determines if it's super nerfed or not? Like, this isn't super nerfed. It's divided by eighty seven, which is fine. It's not divided by e black e something. Like, okay. I'm just gonna save state for every one of these because I don't understand how this challenge works. So now I, so I do this. No, I don't buy this because then everything else is nerfed. This is super nerfed. Well, I can at least do the few first few resets just fine. Like this gets me all the way to E145. So that means I can do this. Use another save state. Buy these. Um, maybe Maybe I just go like one up every time. So, I, I can buy as many of these as I want. I can buy as many of these as I want because it's only going up a single one up. So, it's it's nerfing it somewhat, but it's not nerfing it by an insane amount. Yeah, okay. 
Well, until this happens, where it's nerfed by E33. But I can just keep doing this. No, this is not the strategy. It. This is not the way. I can... I can almost make it to E231 with this. But... Okay, I can do it. But... Okay, that is not the way. Because this challenge is crazy. Okay, so I start with this. Then what do I do? Um, I I want to get basically... So, so there's the buy max strategy, which gets me to E224. I, I can do something else instead. I can do the... Just go... Just... Just focus on one of the branches. And like buy everything I can out of it. So that the one branch is, is not nerfed at all. And this gets me up to a solid E369, maybe even a little bit higher. But it makes the rest of everything, it makes the entire base 3 completely useless. So I think there is a better way. What if I start like this, and then I just buy the first one of the base 3s? That's it. And then I do everything else exactly the same. And I'm not sure if this is going to be any better or worse, but I can at least try. So I just buy everything here. Actually, I can just buy back at this point. Because these are literally giving me nothing. This gets me to E396. So it's actually not any better. It's because this doesn't matter in the late game. Or not in the late game, but you, you know what I mean. It doesn't matter later on where things actually should matter. So basically all the base 3 stuff is entirely useless. And I have to just focus on base 2. That's, that's what I'm getting. Because all it does is just nerf the base 2 stuff. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back into loading this and just focus on base 2 don't don't even i i don't i don't want to purchase any base 3 because that's just going to nerf the base 2 stuff so this 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 will get me to well it's going to be about e400 just like before isn't really anything that special i mean it it's going to be a little bit better but you, know, you can see just how tedious all this clicking is and I need to get all the way to E600 to beat the challenge, and I don't think this ninth degree polynomial growth is really going to get me all the way to E600. It'll like it'll get me up to this E462, but I don't see a path beyond that. Maybe if I just wait an absurd amount of time, like weeks the fast growing hierarchy items will actually do something for me and get me more number but that's the only thing i can hope for at this point because all of a sudden i've hit a brick wall where i essentially just can't progress at all in this game which is crazy so yeah hope you enjoyed peace out